Hey guys, it's Nate. Thanks for downloading the Nate Cam Starter Pack. I'm gonna show you how to get these filters installed now in Lightroom and Photoshop. So for this, you'll need either a Mac or a PC, Lightroom version four or higher, or a recent version of Photoshop. So once you've downloaded the presets from the website, the first thing you'll need to do is find where you downloaded them and unzip them. So for me, it came into my downloads folder and I'll just double click to unzip them. So inside this folder, you've got a couple of different things. You have an installation file, which has the same instructions that I'm giving you now. Uh, you have a Lightroom folder, which has all the Lightroom presets. You have a Photoshop folder, which has all the ACR settings. And for Mac, you have a Mac installer. On Mac, this is super easy. Just double click the Mac installer and it'll install everything exactly where it needs to go. Now, quick tip, if you try to do this and you get an error saying that it won't work because it wasn't downloaded from the App Store, just right click and hit open, and then on the next screen, um, confirm that you do wanna open this. If you already have Lightroom open, you'll wanna go ahead and quit it, and then reopen it so that it can find the new presets that were just added. So we'll open up Lightroom, and once it's open, you'll just wanna make sure you're in the develop pane, and that you can see the presets over here in the left pane, and if everything went right, you should see a Nate Cam starter pack in here. So you can start trying out some of the different presets on your photos and see what they do. You can also use all of these presets inside of Adobe Camera Raw and Photoshop. So to do that, you'll just want to open up a raw photo file and it'll open in this dialog box before it opens up in Photoshop itself. This is the Adobe Camera Raw, raw window. And over here towards the top right, towards the far right, you see this presets. Click on that and now you have access to all of your presets, including the ones that we just added from the Nate Cam Starter Pack. So I'm gonna cancel that and just show you one more thing. In the newer versions of uh, Adobe Photoshop, you can actually apply this to non-RAW files. And the way that you do that is come into Photoshop for any file, go to Filter, go to camera raw filter, and you'll see the same window that we saw before. Come to your presets, and now you can apply all of these different presets on top of the existing JPEG file. So that's the Mac installation. I'm gonna show you now how to do this on Windows. It's a little bit different because I don't have an installer for Windows, but it's still pretty easy. Just come over into Lightroom, make sure you're in the develop module, and that you can see the preset pane. And now click anywhere inside of, uh, inside of this window and you'll see this dialog box pop up and hit new folder. You can call this Nate Cam Starter Pack. I'm just gonna put example. All right, so now you've got this new folder. So now I'm gonna take this folder, I'm gonna select it, right click and hit import. So now when I do that, I'm gonna find, I'm gonna go to my downloads. I'm gonna find, this is the, the folder that you unzipped earlier. You just need to find that. Come in here, Lightroom, Nate Cam Starter Pack, and then just select all of these and hit import. And now, if that worked, yep, you should be able to see them all inside of Lightroom. Now to install the Photoshop settings in Windows, you'll need to actually go into your file explorer and go back and find where you downloaded this and unzipped it and find the Photoshop folder and the ACR settings folder. And you'll need to take all of these files individually. Don't take the whole folder, take the files individually and you'll need to move them into the path username, which is your username, app data, roaming, Adobe, camera raw settings. So I'll leave that on the screen here for just a second. Um, you'll probably wanna open up a second window and just drag and drop it over, or you could copy and paste it. But once you have that over there, just restart Photoshop and it should show up. All right, that's it guys. I hope you love using these filters. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at FirstNate. And if you do end up using these filters on your own photos, 
be sure to use the hashtag NateCam so I can check him out. All right, hope you enjoy it. Bye.